Hi you two, so we're continuing to work on our toy shop. So hopefully at home you've got a cardboard box and you've got some kind of window shape cut out from the front of it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make something that looks a bit like the brickwork. So all I've got here is some just strips of colored paper. Now you might get orange or yellow bricks, but you don't have to stick with regular brick colors. Brick can be painted any color at all. So you can use any colors you like, but what I'm going to do is I've got some strips here just move my toy shop for a moment and I'm just going to as straight as I can cut some rectangles okay so that's my first step and I'm cutting them roughly the same size every time and I'm cutting as straight as I can as I go and what we're going to do is we're going to glue these bricks onto the front of our toy shop now try and glue them in straight rows rather than um, higgledy piggledy I'll show you what I mean in a moment so those are my bricks already pre-cut I've got my glue I've got my toy shop so I'm going to now this is going to take a little while so I might not demonstrate the entire shop Let's see how long this takes me so this is my technique for putting glue on it I put it down and then I rub it around like this Okay, and hopefully that will stop your fingers getting too gluey and then slide it off. And then I'm gonna put my first brick down here. Now, when you put bricks down, quite often they've got a little border around them where the mortar or the cement has gone. Okay, so I'm gonna do my yellow one. Now, I will probably try and do a color pattern, but you don't have to. So the pattern I'm going to do is going to go orange yellow orange yellow and so on okay i think i'm going to just demonstrate going up the side now if you make a brick that's too big for example this one okay what you need to do is just fold it around the corner okay Oh, and if it's peeling off a bit like my one is, you just need a little bit more glue to hold it down. Okay, so now let's do my pattern. I'm going to go over this one here. Okay. And where it's sticking out, I'm gonna tuck that around the corner. Now this is a very fiddly job Okay, so take your time with this. This is probably going to take quite a long time to fill up the front of the shop. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there and I'm actually gonna show you the next thing because this will take a long time. So imagine I'm finished going all around the front of my shop with bricks. The next thing you're going to do is make your roof. Now. Let me just show you what I've got that I'm using. So I'm using some um, white paper, but this isn't like thin printer paper. It's kind of thick because I'm going to be painting it with watercolor. And I don't want to use printer paper because it gets really floppy and soggy and it can tear. So with something about this size, so kind of roughly A4, first thing I'm gonna do, it's quite easy, is fold it in half, okay? So I'm gonna fold it in half. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold kind of a little canopy that's going to go over the front of the shop. So it's going to be about, about, let's say two fingers, okay? Two fingers wide. Okay, so I've folded a little canopy here. Okay, and then, so that's gonna go on the front of my shop like this. This part of the back here, I'm actually going to fold this into the middle because this is going to attach to the top of my box to make the roof. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here's the top of my box. Here's the big fold. That's gonna get glued down like that. And then the front of the roof will, it's very hard to see because it's a bit close to the camera, but the front of the roof will flop down like this, okay? So it makes it makes the roof shape and it flops down, okay? Now, it might be easier to paint before you fold, 
because if your if your paper's all floppy like this it's harder to paint now i don't need to paint this section here because this is going to get glued down uh, onto my box but from here downwards i am going to paint and i'm going to paint it in stripes so you need to kind of think up two colours that work well together as stripes. Now, yellow and blue are not a good idea because when the stripes touch, they're going to turn green. So try and pick something like my example is going to be red and blue. So I'm going to mix a red in my lid. Now, you can change the colour by adding in some orange um, or some yellow to lighten it up. I'm going to mix in a little bit of orange here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a stripe that goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay. So let's see. Let's put a stripe here. Now you can see this is something that you might want to do before you put your folds in. Okay. And then I'm just going to work my way along. Now my brush is very, very wide. So it's making my stripes very wide. You might have a thinner brush and therefore you might have thinner stripes, okay? So your stripes don't have to be exactly the same as mine. Okay. I'm just gonna finish that. Now, my advice would be let your stripes dry before you add the next color. Because like I mentioned, uh, if you put two colours next to each other, they are going to blend and make a new colour. So obviously, yellow and blue will make green. If I do a blue stripe next to this red, it's going to make purple. Now, I quite like purple, so I don't mind too much if they mix. But to stop accidentally making a colour that I don't want, I'm going to let it dry. So I'm just going to finish these stripes so it's not a race you can take your time on these stripes if they go a bit wonky it's not the end of the world try and keep them kind of parallel to the edge of the page though if you can okay so there's my stripes there so I'm just gonna just go over where they're still a little bit wet okay So that's that one. Okay, and then like I say, you would probably use a tissue to dry it or just leave it to dry. And then you would do your next color, which for me is going to be blue. So I'm gonna water it down in my lid. It's gonna be far quicker to paint with this if I've already watered it down in my lid. Okay, so now I'm gonna put in my next stripe here. Okay, there it is. Okay. Now, this does not get glued onto your shop until it's dry. You shouldn't ever try and glue wet things down, okay? because water and glue don't work very well together. So let this let this roof dry before you try to glue it on. Okay. Now you don't have to do red and blue, okay? You might have different colors in mind that you'd like to do for your stripes. Okay. nearly done last little strip on the end here okay and that's going to be my stripy roof that I'm going to leave to dry okay so today's steps were gluing on rectangles for the bricks on the front of your shop and then painting stripes onto a piece of paper that's going to fold up to be the roof of your shop all right well done